presentation. Again, unfortunately, we are out of time for questions, but if you do have any, please submit them via the website, and we will follow up with them answered lately on the website as well. Did y'all get a little coffee, feeling a little energized? Good, because the most exciting part of the day, I mean, not that the presentations have not been super exciting, but definitely the most exciting part of the day when it comes to competition is in front of us now. It is time for our pitch competition. So we're gonna have four companies present. Um, do all of you have your programs? Because the QR codes that you're gonna use to vote on those companies are in your programs. So all you need to do, all of us have used these menus over the past few years, is hover your phone camera over the QR code of the company that you would like to vote for. If you don't have a program, try and borrow one from your neighbor. If your neighbor doesn't have one, put up your hand and we'll, we'll, we'll try and get you one, okay? So we're gonna have four companies pitching right now. Uh, and they are, oops. First is Atacama, which is a data governance and management solutions company. The second is GreenPay, Ideas for a Sustainable Payment Ecosystem. The third is Waverlight, a fintech company from Nigeria. And the fourth is Maple Excellence, a green company from Japan. So I believe Atacama is coming up first again. Please evaluate all the pitches and then decide who you prefer to vote for at the end. And if you have any technical challenges, just let us know. First company's coming up. Explore the universe has never been easier. Hello everyone, my name is Maria Paz Navarro, founder of Atacama Scope. Problem first, there is no remote astronomical observation software easy to use for kids' education, beginners, enthusiasts, or everyday people. It is not easy to find a sky that facilitates astronomical observation because we have bad weather, light pollution, or environmental pollution in many parts of the planet. And high prices to use telescope is a reality in our days. For example, the cost. If you want to buy your own equipment, like telescope, camera, and computer, it's around $26,500. It's very expensive. Or if you want to buy your one hour of telescope with our competitors, it's not less than 126 About us, what is a telescope? It's a telescope rental service through the internet that allows remote astronomical observation in real time. With this tool, we want to bring astronomy closer to people. We are located in the Atacama Desert, Chile, which is one of the best places to see the stars in the world. The solution, we create a software very easy to use for everybody that connects with a robotic telescope to take pictures about different objects in the deep space in real time. We have our own facilities in, the beautiful, in this beautiful sky of the Atacama Desert and lower prices. About competitors, our solution is better because we have simple software to use, best quality of sky, lower price and the most important thing here people can control directly the telescope uh, this is a video that i want to show you how teachers and kids enjoy at the camascope within their classes Okay, how works the system? It's very easy, it's just three steps. First, you need to put your object here. If this object is viewable in our sky, you can move the telescope. And when the telescope is in position, you will see here in the system status, and then you can take the picture with this button, and your picture will be here. This is our team. I am the CEO of the company. Felipe Arredondo is the CIO, and Osvaldo Miranda is the CTO. Pricing, one hour of telescope with us is just $56, it's very cheap, and for organization starting at $1,790 per month. And this guy can take this kind of picture. This is Omega Centauri, and this is my favorite, Orion Nebula. 
Thank you very much for your time. Okay, excellent, thank you. And our next one is GreenPay, Ideas for a Sustainable Payment Ecosystem. I wanted to mention very quickly that all of these companies have actually qualified now for the uh, LATAM startup visa, which both Diego's and Carlos's companies have gone through. So there's three stages and they are past the third stage. Welcome to GreenPay. I am Mohamed, CEO and co-founder at GreenPay Inc. Why payment methods evolve over the time? Because they all had many problems and always were looking for a better solution. Card as the current solution of the payment have lots of problems, particularly commute cards. Ontario experienced over $65 million annually lost revenue because of the fair evasion and malfunctioning of the card readers and cards. And there is more than 8 million commute cards in Ontario because of the natural problem of the cards that people are struggling with, which produce over 200,000 tons of CO2. We believe in a smooth payment moment, but how? By proposing a cutting edge technology in contactless payments, by face and digital wallet. We not only cut the revenue loss, but also decrease operational costs and improve user experiences. And our solution is completely environmentally friendly. The product consists of three main parts, a super application in citizen side, a fintech platform, and an AI-enabled device for face recognition and QR code reading, which installs on the point of the sales. In comparison with our competitors, we are the fastest one because we are using the cutting edge technology and we are the most secured one because we minimize all the possible ways of the fraud. And also we are the most convenient one because at the moment of the payment, you need nothing but your face. I think that's amazing. And the industry is so promised in Canada. They experience growth in contactless payment, particularly during the pandemic. And our first target market is public transportation for payment in Ontario. And we will work on private merchants concurrently. We've got two business models. In B2G side, we invest and operate, and we've got B2B and of course, B2C. The market trend of face payment is, is so promising and it is growing globally. And first China started in 2017, then many countries joined China and, Ch and used the technology. And we believe that's time for Canada because we believe there is a room of opportunity in, in this industry in Canada and Canada has great access on the United States market and Latin America's market. And also, Canada is a pioneer in atmosphere of startups. And this is our team. And as a Canadian company, we already not only implemented in Canada, but also expanded globally. Thank you. All right, starting to get a sense of where your votes might go. Well, there's still two companies coming. And the next one is uh, Waverlight, a FinTech company from Nigeria. Welcome to Waverlight, the digital payment wallet for immigrants and others who do business between countries. And this is powered by Red Dealers Technologies Inc. My name is Dan, I'm the co-founder and CEO at Waverlight. Um, delay transfers, high fees, single currency wallets are all pain points faced by immigrants who travel to Canada to either work, study, or to permanently reside. You can see that delays could take up to seven days. And in some cases, funds get missing or stuck, you know, so difficult to send money to Canada from other countries. You can see that people lose money to high transfer fees and exchange rates. 
and they can only hold just one currency. We have provided solutions to all of these problems and we're offering instant payment, six, five seconds or less, free transfers to over 50 countries, multiple payment methods, send money, uh, you know, using gift cards, you know, to your family and friends, and we support over 16 currencies. Waverlight was designed for immigrants, for international students, and for freelancers. We're talking about immigrants from Latin America, from Africa, or from Asia. So why Canada? Around 300,000 people visit Canada on a, on a yearly basis. This accounts for about 25% uh, growth, population growth in Canada. We can see that that uh, approximately 100% of the Canadian labor force is being driven by immigrants. Immigrants are driving the Canadian labor force. Uh, we can see that um, there are a lot of competitors around, Wise, Sandwich, Lemonade, even the banks are all competitors in this space. But we have very, very, very much unique because we offer instant payment. Uh, you can send gift cards to your family and friends using Waverlight. You can get virtual debit cards for you to shop online. You can onboard quickly on Waverlight. It takes about three to five hours to onboard. You can convert your cryptocurrency to fiat on Waverlight, and then you can end you earn loyalty bonus when you transact daily on, on Waverlight. We are being tracked compliant, we're AML CFT compliant, we're data privacy compliant, and because how Waverlight was designed to work, both the sender and the receiver have to be on the platform. So they undergo KYC. So this is how we ensure that the platform is safe for everyone to use. So how does this work? Very simple. If you're in Brazil and you want to send your money to Canada, all you need to do is fund your Brazilian wallet using Boleto or Pix, and then you convert that money into Canadian dollars, and then you can withdraw your bank account or using Interact. We have received amazing feedback from a lot of people. Someone says, I love the fact that transfers are immediate on Waverlight. Another person says, it's easier to purchase on other websites using gift cards, so they buy the gift card on Waverlight. Another person says, it seems very, very easy to use. To meet our team, Sarah, uh, which is the founder and CEO, myself here, and the rest of the team, uh, visit waverlight.com to request access. You know, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Right, I've got that. I've got that. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And our last startup will be Maple Excellence, a green company from Japan. Just a couple of notes, by the way. After this, and after you vote, or while you're voting, we will be adjourning for lunch. Lunch will be served in this room. Um, so you've got lots of time to vote. And after that, there will be a couple of presentations and uh, our keynote from John Ruffalo. So we're going to try and give the startups a couple of minutes of questions from the audience as well, if we have time. So after this last presentation, you may get the opportunity to ask some questions as well. Thank you. Everybody. My name is Ashaman. I'm the co-founder and CTO of Maple Excellence. We are a clean technology startup that helps take control of your energy and carbon management. Actually, we are a SaaS company. First of all, Canadian aggressive national target is to reduce emissions by up to 45% in 2030. As a result, all homes must be net zero and all industries should use energy management system. But there are three main things in this market. That is, reverse of managers are concerned about facing tightening regulations. Also, 79% of companies have fragmented and limited solutions. And finally, 50% of customers don't have much awareness or interest in carbon certificate and benefits. In contrast, our solutions are meet our rated requirement and simplify the management process. Also, we offer a comprehensive one-stop shop solution and it's designed for ESG concerned companies. These are our software's key benefits, reducing the added time, reducing the added cost, and some initiative related to ESG and CSR. 
We offer the solution for three segments and for industrial subscription drugs delivered, as you can see, bronze, silver, and gold. You can compare the differences and features for each level, and all prices are monthly. We are already present in different sectors like iron and steel, petrochemical, auto part, and uh, also we have some big famous customers in our own country. These are our competitors. There are a few competitors in the industrial sector of the market, including the one stop shop solution and broad audiences like Watix, Energy Cab, and Screen. So, our ad competitive advantages are hybrid solution for energy and carbon management, high resolution data capture and analysis, and automated, valid, and verified carbon auditing and certificating. But how does it work? Choose the proper subscription model through our website and create an account and connect a data point. Then analyze your data through our advanced data warehouse. It can be manually by data entry or automatically by using IoT devices. And finally, enable the DeFi platform to trade carbon. This is our team. There are several specials in different measures like business development, ISO and ESG editing, SaaS product, data warehouse development, and blockchain. Request a free territorial trial plan, free one hour consultation and platform demo, and thank you for your attention. And half enough today. So, our next speaker is Amy Pollard. Amy is a startup program manager for Canada and Latin America for OVH Cloud, one of the largest cloud providers in Europe. Prior to that, she was a venture capital investor and entrepreneur with five years of investment experience at BDC Capital and was on the founding team of BDC's Women in Technology Fund. Amy Pollard. Thank you so much. Um, hi, everybody. I am Amy Pollard, as she said. Um, and I'm so excited to be here today. We've been working with LATAM Startups for a year now. And the companies are always amazing. Um, and we were really impressed with the pitches today. And I'm very excited to announce the winner. Uh, so OVH Cloud has been working with us for, I think, already close to a year or more than a year. More than a year. Close to a year. Yeah, close to a year. Yeah. We just returned it from a pitch competition in Mexico, right? <laughs> and uh, they are providing amazing services. So just for you to get a context of what is going to be the award and the prize for the winner, um, Amy, can you tell us a little bit more about the platform and what does for the startups? Yeah, sure. So basically, I manage our startup program, and normally there's an application process to get in. Um, and basically, we're providing automatic entry into our program to the winner today. Um, and that includes 10,000 euros worth of free infrastructure services. So that's about 15,000 Canadian. Um, six hours of one-on-one -on -one consultation with our engineering team to kind of help the startups um, figure out how they could have their optimal setup um, for scale. Um, and then on the more softer side, I would say, we help with helping companies with their pitches, connecting them to investors, and on the commercialization side. Um, so that's the prize in a nutshell. So, How much is the prize this time? Uh, $15,000. $15,000. So um, do you want to announce the winner of the competition? I think we should. Okay, let's Perfect. go. And the winner will be? At the Camoscope. Yeah. <laughs> Is Paz here or Felipe? I think they are in the audience. Paz or Felipe? <laughs> Come on in. Thank you very much for everything, uh, for your boat. Uh, for us, we are very exciting to be here in Canada um, with LATAM. 
So that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, we are going to have a quick peek here.